Hey all bear here. Look here, first off I want to thank Bont for sending me these headlamps to try out and tell you, have a chance to tell you all what I think of them. They gave me a, I believe it's a 10% off code if, for any of their stuff. You can go on their uh, page and order it and get 10% off. I'm going to insert it here and it'll also be in the description below along with a link to get their headlamps if you're interested. So now let's roll in the unboxing. Oh, looky here. We have an easy chair away on the bag. I like it. So we got a packing slip. We got one, two, two headlamps. And that's the way they seem to sell these. They seem to do a twofer deal. And this is their their spark. All right, so this there they are. That's that's the way they come packaged. It's a nice box. Let's see here. Let's open one up. Tells us uh, ultra bright and long lasting, waterproof, and indestructible, lightweight and comfortable. Let's find out. Vaunt, your ultimate hands-free illumination. Takes three batteries. Doesn't tell us on the box which three. I brought double and triple A's. Oh wait, looky there. Here's a bonus for you. You see this? Yeah, right there. Batteries are included. They sent me batteries. You see that? You can pause it there. Okay, so we've got the white beam with a low, medium, high, and strobe, and the red beam with a low SOS and strobe. It includes the batteries. The head of it is 2.38 inches with a height this way of, uh, what does it say? Come here. There it is. With a, with a height of 1.7 inches. 45.5 grams up to 200 lumens, uh, IPX5 waterproof level, shockproof up to 1.5, 1, excuse me, shockproof up to 1.2 meters. Uh, the battery capacity on low is eight hours and three on high. Let's see. Thank you for your purchase. Ooh, look. Oh, wow. There's four of them here. <laughs> There's two in a box. So let's, let's put their weight to the test. Can we see that? We're going to weigh without batteries. We are on ounces. Let's go to grams. They give us grams, right? So I have... I'm getting 52 grams. I'm getting 52 grams without the battery. Let's weigh the other one, just, just for comparison's sake. Oof. And I'm getting 52 grams on that also. So I'm getting 52 grams on mine. And you can see they're, they're angled. Okay. So kind of a ratchet tilt mechanism. And let's see, batteries. Batteries go right there. Let's put some batteries in and see what it does. Ha <laughs> ha, look at the batteries. Set, food for spark. Just so you know, as I cycle the light, there will be flashing lights if that bothers you. There she goes. It works right out of the box. Let's see here. How about the red light? How do we get a red light on? Hmm. Hold it down for the red light. The SOS. Okay, 
let's go high. It didn't remember the high setting, it did remember the the white light. I'll put it back on red. I'm gonna cut it off for a minute. Whoops. I'm gonna cut it off for a minute and we'll come back and see if it's got the uh, red light still. All right, let's see if it remembered I was using the red light. Oh, it did. That is awesome. There's nothing worse than having to cycle through those lights at camp and wake everybody up. If I put it on red, I'd like it to stay there. I like that a lot, Vaughn. All right, so now that you've had a chance to see us open them up, let's take a look at these lamps, these headlamps, uh, live at action in camp, and then I'm going to come back and give you a couple final thoughts and whether or not I think you should go buy one. Currently on the low setting. Let's see. In the chimney here, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. It's about ten feet away. That's the low. Where's the button? There's the button off, low, medium, high, strobe. Got some some red lamp action. So here I am getting the campfire ready and processing a little bit of wood. I'm using the low setting on the headlamp and I found that to be adequate for most of what I did at camp that night. I only occasionally use the high setting if I wanted to look out a little further into the woods maybe when I was hunting for firewood. Once I got the fire started, I decided to take some opening shots for a camp cooking video. I'm still using the low setting on the headlamp. The flicker of the light is the camera trying to figure out what to do, not the headlamp. The headlamp shone nice, bright, and steady. So there you go. There's some live action from camp. I used it on that overnight trip out to the Burkhead Mountains. This was the only light I used at camp. Used it all night long. I uh, didn't have an issue with it. What I will tell you about the Vaunt after having a chance to use it is, hey, it's, it's pretty comfortable in my head. No issues with that. Uh, it's a touch it's a touch bigger. The body of it is a touch bigger than some of your more expensive lights. All right, so the one thing I found a little tricky is, you see this? This is your adjustment, right? But you open this up, this little clip, to put your batteries in. No big deal, but when you just when you just shut it back, it doesn't actually latch. So if you just shut it back and think you're good, you're gonna pop open. But all you gotta do is just give it a little press and it'll lock in place. So not really a big deal, just be aware of to press that down so it locks. That way it doesn't open up on you when you're trying to adjust your lamp. So would I recommend this light? Absolutely. Uh, it did everything it was supposed to do and it did it on a budget. You can buy a lamp like this, uh, hand it out to the kids. It's not going to be a big deal if they lose it in the creek. Uh, you can buy a lamp like this and save a few dollars to put towards some of the more important expensive gear that you need to buy. A good set of hiking boots, a uh, lightweight backpack. Uh, you can save some money here, have a light that works, functions, does everything you need it to, and save some money to spend on some of that other expensive gear uh, that's more vital. Uh, so, you know, definitely, if this suits your needs and it's in budget, go get it. I'm going to keep using mine this year and uh, see how it holds up. Well, look here. We'll see you on the trail.